I got him. Dude, I got him. Get the net. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, bring it around. Bring it around. Going. Hurry, this might be the 40 incher. So this must be right here is my number nine of the day. Got him. There we go. Number 11 for me. Four feet. There's yep. a fish. Yep, yep, yep. Musky. Hell yeah, man. Oh my god, I can barely pick him up. Guys, we finally got a monster. I got one, dude. Net, net me. Ugh. Are you serious? Yeah. Here, bring it in. Right here. Bring it in. Nice. I don't know how big it is. It feels Holy nice. shit! Oh, I see him. That's a nice one. Oh, is he snagged? Wait a second. What is that? That's oh, a muskie. He's in the mouth. That's a nice one, dude. Nice. Oh my. All right, bring him over. There you go. <gasps> That's a nice one, dude. Let's go. Look at that. That one's actually obese. Look at that fish. First muskie of the morning, guys. That is a beautiful spotted muskie. Nice size one too, mid thirties. Very healthy. We've only been fishing for what, 15 minutes. First fish fell victim to the black bucktail. That's a beautiful one. Yes. Let's go. I didn't really set the hook at first because I kind of thought it was just like a snag, but laid on it and that fish was pulling back so let's go awesome yeah they got the heart pumping guys that felt really good is that a gar or a muskie that's a gar i think there was a gar over there dude i got another one are you serious no way. yeah <laughs> holy crap how's that one this one feels good too dang Look at that head shake. Oh my god. That's a big one. That's a nice one. Ooh, scoot that way. Scoot this way. That's a big one. Oh my. Oh my oh, god. Oh my god. Go. Dude, that's huge. Them teeth are gnarly. Look at that fish, guys. That's a beast. That's pushing upper 30s all day. Beautiful fish. That was like maybe five minutes or so after that last fish I caught. Second on the day. Let's go. No worries, guys. That's a beautiful fish. That thing is so fat. Look at that. So wide. <laughs> oh my god. That's what I'm saying. Wait, maybe are they going? Are they coming? I hope they're way? going upstream. But I would doubt it. I feel like they're. Fish. Up. Dude. I'm not ready. Okay. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. That's a nice one. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, bring it around. Bring it around. Um, no! Fuck, man. Damn it. I had to swing him around. Damn it. That's okay. That was a nice one. Yeah, it was. I had a feeling the fish was going to come off whenever... He just, like, turned like that. It's hard to get him. Well, I had to take him on that way. So right now, we've only been fishing for maybe 30 minutes so far now. I already caught two muskies, lost a couple after that couple of the follows as well so we're getting a ton of action right off the bat and i'm starting off the day with what i had most of my luck with last time that being a black bucktail a lot of action caught two unfortunately missed and lost a couple but gotta take the bad with the good good with the bad but anyway we're gonna head on to a new spot i'm gonna stop right here yeah here just back, up. back up i am i'm gonna go there's gotta be one on this brush right here Yep, yep. Little guy. Nice. Little guy. Called it. Um, He's off. Yep, I called it. I freaking called it. All right, guys. So obviously, I caught my first two fish on a bucktail, but I went ahead and switched to a glide bait right now, and I'm getting a lot of follows on it. It is an absolute must to have polarized sunglasses on as well. I mean, it's pretty cloudy. With the glasses, you can see the musky in the water. The water is a little bit dirty, so that just adds to the difficulty of seeing the follows, but you always got to work a figure eight. It helps to keep the mindset that there's a muskie on your lure at all times because you just never know whenever they're going to follow it up all the way at your feet and then eat it right at the last second. All right, we can head. We did get a whole bunch of action in this little spot right here. We did lose one, 
and had a bunch of other follows, but we're just gonna go ahead and keep on moving, keep on covering water. Yeah, we got a lot of water to cover, so let's just get at it. Anyways, as far as musky fishing goes, that's not a fail. It was actually a pretty good spot. Although we didn't catch them, we did get some follows and unfortunately one lost fish, so that's better than not seeing any at all, I guess. Dude, no! Was that one? See that, dude, he freaking smacked it. On the wake? Oh. I felt him hit it hard. <laughs> Pro cash right in the spot where I left him. I literally will catch, I'm just playing. I'm not gonna get him. Dude, no, that's a stick. I just got smacked too, and I think it was- No, I saw the wake too. Oh, you wanna move? No, let me cast the buck on there first. I'm ready to dip. <laughs> I got him. Dude, I got him to the net. I told you. Jesus Christ. On the follow up we were, hurry. On the bike tail, guys. That's stupid. He missed it like twice. That's so stupid. I can't believe that. Keep that way more. Give me, give, give some room. It's a nice one. Hurry. There he is. There we go. Dude, I told you. He no. hit the freaking glide twice. Missed it both times. There you go. And I got him Here. on a follow up lure. I'll get the thing. That's actually bigger than I thought. I thought it was a lot smaller at first. What is that, low 30s? That was pretty awesome how that played out. I told you, I was throwing that glide in there. I had two hits. First one, he freaking popped it. A couple of casts later, nothing. So I decided to chuck my bucktail in there. And sure enough, he freaking cranked it on the first cast. Thanks for biting, buddy. That's musky number three on the day. Later, bud. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, if you're wondering why I'm using a half paddle as an oar, that's because I forgot the extra set of paddles for Parker, so we each just have half of one. It's always gotta be something. <laughs> I mean, it's not the worst though. We're getting by. Hey. Did I leave my anchor in your car? Oh, oh, no way. I was lifting out of the water. He hit it. Bucktail. He's there. He's there. He's there. He's on it. He's going in a good spot. Got him. Oh my God. There we go. Look at that. Number four on the day. Probably only about 30 inches. Not as big. Look at them chompers though. This one was actually really crazy the way I caught him. So I lifted my lure out of the water. Didn't know he was there. He freaking hit it. So then he swam off, he chased bait, cast it over his head, he came back in and I got him on a figure eight. Let's go. So scared you need snag. Nah, nah, oh nah, my nah. God. Nah. I'm trying, I'm trying. Hold up, I'm coming. Right here. I'm coming. Oh my God, I'm gonna slip right here. Be careful, be careful. Oh my God, okay. Let's go, let's my go. new best. I must be one That's day. Insane. Musky number five on the day. Another quality fish. Oh, that messed up mouth right there. I don't know. I don't think that's for me. I'm pretty sure I had him hooked like on the tip of the mouth. Could have been. I don't, I'm not too sure. But anyway, let's go ahead and send him back. You know, his tail's bleeding a little bit. He's getting stressed out. Later, bud. Thanks for biting. Follow. Got him! I hope the camera picked that up. I hooked him and he went in the air and threw it. Yep. <sighs> Number six. That's my fifth, no, sorry, six musky on the day it just feels good to have an amazing day catching this many muskies every single one of these fish that we've caught today have been super healthy super fat they've been eating really good gotta love it man these fish are insane there he goes let's go number six down 
I just one I saw earlier, I'm not kidding, it was at least four feet. There's a fish. Okay, y'all. That's actually bigger than I thought. Another super healthy fish. Look how tall. Oh my gosh, that fish is very tall. So just, just no words, guys. Seven muskies on the day. Okay. I just let him jump in the water. We didn't want to get my hand torn up. So I just kind of tossed him in the water, but he should be good swimming off. It's been a long day, guys. Seven muskies so far. And each and every fish I've been on the same lure, black bucktail. I just watched the one. Going. Holy. Oh my God. Get over here. Holy. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hurry, this might be the 40 incher. Oh my God. He's huge. Get over here. I need you. Holy f I'm coming to you. Come on, come on. Good one. That's a nice one, I'm sorry. He fought like, he looks so big, dude. We almost doubled up, because I just let mine go. Dude, look at this one. Finally. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Oh. Jesus Christ, dude, that thing is huge. I swear to God, he was 40 inches. Hold this net. Here. Finally. Oh my God. Oh my God. What a oh bitch. My. Oh my God. Lift him up more. 39 inches. That's a beast. Fucking oh, hell. That is a river beast. Guys, we finally got a monster. <laughs> we finally got one close to about 40 inches. We just measured him 39 inches. That is Parker TB. What a monster. Oh my God. All right, here we go, guys. Here's the release. Oh He's ready to go. Goodness. What a beast. Hell yeah, man. Oh my God, I can barely pick him up. I bet he weighs Jesus probably 50 Christ. pounds, probably. At least. 39 inches. That's the same size as my personal best. In. Wow. Hold his belly up. Dude, what a monster. He's tired. He's exhausted. You thought it was a 40 inches. You oh. were only one inch off. That's a beast. Okay, buddy. You're okay, there you go. Oh my God. That's the best part, watching swim off. I did it, guys. Finally did it. That's the biggest one that we've caught out of here. It's insane. Nice. Look at him go. He's still going. He's still going right now. Nice, man. We did it. I did it. I've caught seven muskie on the day so far. Lost some other ones. It's been a struggle for Parker. I've been kind of feeling bad for him, but that definitely made up for it. That was nice. That Get was my beast. PB. That was my PB right there. 39 inches. I thought That's he was 40. Giant. Parker actually switched to what I'm using as well, a black bucktail. I sound like I'm on repeat, but it's true. This bait is doing the most for us today. Let's just keep going, let's keep casting. There's a lot more muskie in here. So let's just see what else is feeding. Are you throwing the Chad Chad? Uh, no. I want you to get one on it. Dude, I had a couple of chances. I had a couple hits on it and like blow ups, but. That's cr yeah. I, 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 fish! Nice! Nice one. You okay? Oh, I got one too! Nate, I'm gonna double up. Nate, I got one! No! No! He came up. up. <laughs> he came up right here. He That's ate it. Musky. Dude, there was one chasing it. He bit onto it. I missed. There we go. Number eight on the day. This one's probably just the low 30s. Not big. I'll take it though. Like I said, any musky is a good musky. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. We've got nine muskies in total today. Just unbelievable. And every single fish on the bucktail. Should be good. So again, this lure, this exact lure, this is a Muskie Mayhem Double Showgirl, I believe. I'm pretty sure double eight blades. And I'm throwing this with a wire leader 
and I got 65 pound braid mainline. And needless to say, they are absolutely loving this lure today. Getting so much action. Also, as far as the conditions go, it's been mainly sunny with some clouds mixed in. It's probably pushing 80, 80 some degrees right now. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep on casting and hope on getting another one. I got one. Let's go. Stay on, baby. That feels like a nice one, too. Oh, oh my gosh. And there goes number nine. So this muskie right here is my number nine for the day. <laughs> And I kind of feel bad. I don't know what happened. I mean, that's a good fish. Look at his beak though. Comment down below what you guys think happened, whether someone caught him and jacked him up or if he just ran into something real hard. I don't know, but nonetheless, another mid thirties muskie. We're having a blast out here. That's the 10th one of the day, my ninth. Insane. And not to mention all the other ones that we've lost or missed. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I go and cast. Let's up. go, guys. Insane. Look at that. Nate, they blend in so well, too. Once they go out there, they're gone. Can't even tell it's them. I just, I, I want to catch one more. That's it. I so know. Bad. I want to hit double digits. That's how I felt when I had nine. Once you hit nine, like once you got to nine, did you feel like you were going to get stuck there? Well, I had to get going. That was the thing. Did you think you were going to get stuck at nine? I don't know. I was like, I don't, actually I was, I was feeling pretty confident. I mean, we still have a, an hour or two to fish. So I, I think, I think we can. Yeah. Muskie! Come what? on, baby. Please, please, please. Little guy. Let's go. Number 10, let's go. Me and Parker now have uh, tied for our most muskies in one day. One day, Parker was fishing without me. He caught 10 muskies. And now, I got that done today. We got it. I think this might be the smallest one of the day. Maybe like 28, 29 inches. Not big by any means, but it feels so good to get my 10th muskie of the day. I finally hit double digits. I don't know if either of us will ever do this again in our lives. Possibly, possibly not, but it's just been unreal. Thank you so much for biting. Smallest fish of the day for me, but one of the most exciting. I can't get this shit out, dude. It's so hard to get this out. I don't have anything deep. I want to get it anyway. What, you're gonna swim? I wouldn't swim. Why? I mean, you can if you want to. I just don't know how deep it is. I can't even find the leader, dude. Can you touch the bottom? I don't know. <laughs> Here, get on my kayak. There you go. Holy Let's see if I can. Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, so it's right here. I do yeah. <laughs> Jesus right. Christ. Here. Thanks. God damn. Dude, you were not. I feel like. <laughs> Dude, can we. On the can you imagine us doing this in winter? It would not happen. Fish! No, it's a gar. Oh my god. That is a monster gar. I thought it was a 50 inch musket at first. Okay, please do not freak out. There we go, a little bycatch there, giant gar. We've been seeing some monsters out here. That thing had my heart racing at first. I thought it was a, a monster musket, but nope. I'm just gonna go ahead and try my best to safely get this guy off the hook. There we go, got him on the hook. 
Oh my gosh. The amount of fall-ups I've had right here off this little brush. I've had so many fall-ups through it the whole day. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. I need you, Nate. Yep. Yep. Got your net? Yeah. Oh my god. Dude. Yep. Watch out. Got your net? <clears throat> Guy. Dude, that little one. I mean, it's a nice one. It's a you nice one. Just a little guy. Oh, I feel him biting down. You feel what? I feel him bite down. There you go. He's just got sharp teeth and everything. Let him go. Oh, that's me. That's me. Yeah. It would just suck skipping all these parts where we know they all are. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Number 11 for me. That's a nice fish. What? Oh my god, there's a huge one. <laughs> Parker's got another follow. Whoa, just throw him back. That's probably the best thing you can do when they tense up and they start flipping out in your hands. Just toss them in the water. It's nothing different than them jumping in and out of the water. And as far as their safety, you don't risk dropping them, having them bash their head or just throw your gear all over the place. So that's really the best thing to do. I got one. Whoa, came off. Oh well, who cares? It was a decent one. 30 something. 30 something. <laughs> 